Fortnite FPS Boost Fix FPS Drops and Stutters Here's a short video demonstrating various ways to address issues like FPS stutters, FPS drops, and more. Okay, first, go to the bottom left of your desktop and click on the Start menu. Then, type CMD. You'll see the command prompt. Before clicking on it, choose the option Run as Administrator. This ensures you're running it with administrative privileges. Once it's fully loaded, type in the command SFC slash forward scan now and hit enter. This command runs a system scan to check the integrity of your Windows system files. If it finds any corrupt, missing, or damaged files, it'll automatically spot and repair them. After the scan, it'll either say your system is good to go, like mine here, or it'll show you the repairs it made. That's it, easy and automatic. Now, head to your Windows settings and click on System. On the left side, choose Storage. I recommend turning on Storage Sense. It's a handy feature to automatically keep your PC clutter-free. Scroll down to see where your storage is used and you can free up space. I like to do this weekly. Click on items like temporary files, recycling bin, and more. Be careful to keep what you need. For instance, I keep my downloads. But things like temporary files, thumbnails, and Windows Update Cleanup can go. With a few clicks, you can easily reclaim space, like saving 5GB on your hard drive in no time. Now, open your device manager and scroll down to System Devices. Look for an option called High Precision Event Timer. By default, it's enabled but right-click on it and choose Disable Device. Many players have reported that having this setting enabled, which is the default, can lead to micro stutters. By disabling it, you should hopefully get rid of those micro stutters. If, for some reason, you notice more issues, you can always re-enable it. But for most people, disabling it seems to work best. Back in the settings, go to Gaming. First things first, make sure to disable the Xbox Game Bar. It can cause micro stutters, FPS drops, and even crashes. Mine's already turned off. Check yours. Moving on, you might come across the Game Mode option. By default, it's usually enabled but some players report micro stutters. If that's the case for you, turn it off. Additionally, head to your graphic settings and disable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Remember, you need to restart your PC for this change to take effect. This setting can also be a source of stutters and FPS drops. Give it a shot, and if it doesn't help, you can always re-enable it. But if it does, leave it disabled like so. In Windows settings again, head to System. On the left, click on Power and Sleep. Then on the right, select Additional Power Settings. You'll see I've set mine to High Performance. Now, while this might sound fantastic, it can actually hinder your system's performance. Here's why. Putting your power plan on high performance locks your CPU at its fastest clock speed, not allowing it to slow down or go into an idle state. If you have, let's say, a 5GHz CPU, it will constantly run at that speed, which is great for gaming but not so efficient for other tasks. I prefer the balance settings these days. I've noticed my FPS stays consistent and micro stutters are pretty much non-existent. Next, locate the game you want to address the micro stutters for. Mine is Fortnite, which is on my SSD. Navigate to the game, then go into Binaries, followed by Win64. Scroll down to find the game's executable file, the one you used to launch the game. Once you've found it, right-click and select Properties. Inside the Compatibility tab, disable Full Screen Optimization by ticking the box. This might help eliminate micro stutters. Remember to click Apply and then OK to save the changes. Next, open the launcher for the game you play, go to the library section, and find the game. Click on the three horizontal dots, then select Manage. You should see an option to verify files or verify system files. Click on that. This will automatically check and fix any corrupt, missing, or outdated files for the game. It's good to practice to do this every two weeks or so to ensure everything is up to date. Once the verification is complete, launch the game. When the game is open, press Ctrl plus Alt plus Delete, then click on Task Manager. Under Processes, find the game, right-click on it, and choose Go to Details. This takes you to the executable. Right-click on it and set the priority from the default Normal to High. This puts the game in high priority, reducing FPS drops, stutters, or crashes. Ensuring optimal performance for your gaming experience involves a series of steps, and updating your GPU drivers is a crucial component of this process. Let's delve into the details. If you are utilizing an NVIDIA GPU, GeForce Experience is a user-friendly platform to manage your drivers. Launch the application, and you'll notice a prominent section at the top highlighting the availability of a new game-ready driver. 
Simply click on it, proceed to download, and follow through with the installation steps. NVIDIA frequently releases updates to enhance compatibility and performance, so keeping your drivers current is beneficial. For those with an AMD GPU, a comparable application likely exists. A quick online search or a visit to the official AMD website should guide you to the appropriate tool. Alternatively, you can manually search and download the latest driver from the official website. Regularly updating GPU drivers is not merely a routine chore. It's a proactive measure to ensure your graphics hardware is optimized for the latest games and software. This not only addresses potential performance issues, but also guards against compatibility issues and takes advantage of any optimizations provided by the hardware manufacturer. By adopting a habit of checking for driver updates at regular intervals, you contribute to a smoother and more enjoyable gaming experience. These updates often contain bug fixes, stability improvements, and performance optimizations tailored to new game releases. Remember, a well-maintained GPU driver is a cornerstone of a seamlessly running gaming setup. In conclusion, whether your team, NVIDIA or AMD, prioritizing the regular updating of GPU drivers is a small yet impactful step toward unlocking the full potential of your gaming hardware. So, embrace the simplicity of driver updates and ensure your system is always ready for the latest gaming adventures. Another crucial step of maintaining an optimal gaming environment is keeping your operating system up to date. Here's a breakdown of this process within the Windows settings. Navigate to the Windows settings, then select Update and Security. Within the section, click on Windows Update. By clicking on Check for Updates, you can ensure that your operating system is current. While I believe I'm up to date, checking for updates is a routine I follow diligently. Windows updates, especially major ones, are often designed to enhance the overall performance and stability of the operating system. This, in turn, can have a positive impact on in-game experiences by potentially reducing stutters, FPS drops, or crashes. Personally, I prioritize installing the major updates as they tend to bring significant improvements. However, the optional updates are something I usually skip unless there's a specific reason to install them. This approach ensures that my operating system remains current with the essential improvements without burdening the system with unnecessary updates. In essence, keeping your operating system up to date is a fundamental step in maintaining a reliable and high-performance gaming setup. Regularly checking for and installing updates ensures that your system is equipped with the latest enhancements, contributing to a smoother and more enjoyable gaming experience. Lastly, to avoid micro stutters, make it a point to use a free malware or antivirus scanner. You can find one online easily. I run quick scans periodically to check for any lurking malware or viruses that might be hogging my PC's resources and slowing it down. The scan is usually quick, and if it detects anything, I make sure to quarantine and remove it from my system. Regularly scanning is a good idea to stay on top of potential threats because if you don't scan, you might not know if there's something harming your system. These are some methods you can try to fix any FPS issues you might be facing in Fortnite. If this video was helpful, feel free to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. See you on the next video.